Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, sorry I didn't end my video right in my, in my last vlog. I feel like I just cut it off and I was just like done with the day. Anyway, I've had a busy morning. I'm actually eating my breakfast now and it is nearly quarter past 11. Um, yeah, we've just, Alistair had an eye test appointment, like a yearly one. He's ordered some new glasses. Um, I dropped off some parcels, I had my car cleaned on the outside, I didn't bother with the inside because only, I think two weeks ago I did the inside. As you can hear, it's time dragging. I've got washing to do. We're actually going away on a little mini break. Um, I think I said in my last vlog, I booked it last minute. It's only me and the two youngest. There is room for Alistair. I've asked Alistair if he wants to come. He doesn't want to come. Um, he's actually going to hang out with Gray. They're going to do... He's going to be in the shop tomorrow with Graham and then, um, because obviously it's Saturday, and then they're actually planning on going to see the new Kong vs. Godzilla movie in the evening. So they're going to have boy time and whatever. Alistair loves the peace, to be perfectly honest. He loves a quiet house. He's just a quiet boy. Um, so I think he's quite grateful for us going. But anyway, I haven't done any packing yet. Like, zilch apart from i've got a bag full of food which i just started putting bits in this morning Mommy. you okay so yeah we're going to weymouth um like i said i was basically just looking on the haven website and i was like i just want to go to like a really basic activity holiday camp thing we did it we've done stuff like this years ago when the kids were little it's great because there's so much to do they've got indoor swimming pools there's evening entertainment it's pretty cheap and I went for the basic basic caravan just two bedroom you know it sleeps four but anyway so I booked that last week the only thing that I'm really annoyed about um, is that everything we haven't been in years to any of these holiday camps and I didn't realize you have to pre-book everything so you have to pre-book swimming for hourly slots which I think is annoying and irritating because you can book a lot if it's available per person so i don't know i suppose they have a limit for every hourly slot for how many people goes into the pool and everything i'm not even kidding everything is fully booked every day friday saturday sunday the only time slot i've managed to book is a monday morning obviously monday is the last day so i'm really annoyed about that um, and I keep looking regularly to see if, there, if there's any updates because some people obviously cancel off so I, I just keep looking because um, it would be nice to do like an evening swim tonight um, the only thing they've said to me because I did ring up and I was just like hang on a minute this is not fair because you don't know until you book these places obviously if there's any availability um, and obviously you pay you pay to have this swimming pool as well i mean why shouldn't i go swimming you know just because i didn't know how we had to pre-book blah 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 anyway they've said the only thing they can do is when you turn up at a time slot you have, have to basically hope that people don't show up so then you can take their spaces um so the only downside to that, is, especially when you've got little kids, imagine them get, getting them all hyped up. Right, we're going to swim in, and then waiting by the sideline, hoping for people not to turn up, and then suddenly you're like, everyone's turned up. Sorry, we can't go swimming. Like, the letdown. Um, I did manage to get, I've booked like dinner for tomorrow, I've booked like breakfast for Sunday, or Monday, I think. Um, I've booked a couple of things. I've booked like pottery, painting i booked a couple of things because i thought well let's just do it because literally everything booked like i said i only booked last week so i know i booked last minute but still like everything's fully booked <coughs> right so i'll show you what i packed so far <coughs> just basic stuff um so i packed a lot of dry snacks basically i'm thinking i can do lunch stuff i don't mind doing dinner out or they've got papa john's on site um so we've got this is cleaning stuff I need to add to that. We've got like baked beans for lunch or a cup of soup. Um, I'm going to get some like sandwich bits, I think. We've got marshmallows, hot chocolate, um, some of these little cracker things. That's basically for me because the kids won't eat those. And then I've got like crisps for me. I like these healthier ones. And then the kids have got like cheese and onion and things. And waffles for breakfast. Again, I'll probably, mm, I don't know whether to get up 
I'm mean, probably do toast or something. Or um, I could bring some eggs with us. And then I've done like us each, oh my coffees as well. Um, I've done us each a <laughs> random there. I thought, well, let's just do like a snack bag of all the snacks that the kids like. And hopefully it will last us at least till Sunday. Um, my kids aren't, they aren't massive snackers to be fair. They've had a big breakfast or a big lunch. They don't really snack unless it's like getting closer to the afternoon. And then I try and either do dinner early or just give them a little snack. So this is mine. I've got my books that I like. I've got the protein bars in there. A couple of Easter treats, some rice cakes, some these little biscuits. And then this is Violet's. She's got a couple of these split um, fruit bar thingies, Oreos brunch bars and then Mars also has um I might put a couple of her Easter bits in here as well because she's got some in her room but yeah Mars has got his he likes those mini roll thingies yeah I'm probably going to pop to the supermarket there's an Aldi local so I'm going to pop to there and just get some like fresh bits I've got loads of fruit here so I might take some fruity bits with us I don't know let's see what happens let's see what happens they have quite a lot of availability for booking the only good thing I do like is that Haven now have an app, which I didn't know about until obviously booking this holiday. So you can actually pre-book and book things on the app, which is so much more convenient than having to ring up or go to the reception or whatever. Yeah. I just need to join that. Okay. Smiles is whatever you want bag as long as it fits in there. So they like, does your kid have one or two items of clothing that they just won't get rid? This, this. This is something that I can't, I need to, I need it to just disappear because <laughs> it's from last summer and it was really nice last summer but it's just, as you can see, it's so overworn and washed, it looks a mess now and obviously it's not really summertime so it looks a bit much but obsessed with it. What do you think? Where? Where about, um, Someone from Primark. Marvel yeah. one. Yeah. You like it? Right, a couple of bits that I'm bringing. Pop of red very different but I just I saw this on H&M and I was like oh it's really nice so um yeah I got this it's like the short sleeve version of um I have this one which I wore a lot over like Christmas season and then I got this one as well which I really like I wish the buttons were gold though I really yeah it's only one thing I really don't like about it is I wish the buttons were gold but I think I might take that as well hangers as well because caravans they tend to not have hangers or not enough of them so i'm going to take some hangers yeah i'm a bit of an overpacker can you see i but you know what I, when you can load up your car it doesn't actually matter does it um i've also i've not packed miles of stuff's going to go this side but i've just packed that basically this is like a big fluffy jumper that i want to bring um i just pulled out my minis from when we went away because i thought i might as well just take i might as well just take them I'm not going to take this brush, I'm going to take my normal brush. And I've got my body butter deodorant. Right, I'm just packing up the swim bag. Um, putting in my swimsuit. Yeah, all of our swim stuff, I just find it easier to just pack it into a proper like, swim bag. Uh, goggles, these little dive sticks. To be honest though, I have actually looked into just a local leisure centre and it's literally like, I think it's like £4 for me and a couple of quid for the kids. So I think we might end up doing that tomorrow if I can't get a swimming space in the holiday camp. Oodies. I actually, I got one from the next sale. This one. £15. So I've never had an Udi for myself before, but I saw this on sale and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get it. Just throwing the last bits in. This got, has got four four books in he got this for christmas but i've seen it back in lidl um i think it's 5.99 but i think i originally got it at half price because it was a half price um that week but um yeah it's got four books in which i think it honestly it's so good so we're gonna throw that in got the um packing cubes blankie and i think we're pretty much done right i want to do a little bit of pre-holiday glow up i feel like the last this week I haven't worn any makeup. I haven't done anything to my hair. I feel, you know, I just feel, I feel ugly. I feel, I want to feel nice. So I'm going to curl my hair. Because my hair, to be fair, is pretty fresh. Um, I swear, when I've got the dark root, I'm actually having it, um, having a half head done the end of April. I just feel like when I've got a dark root, and 
you can see I'm, I'm carrying a lot of grey at the minute. It just, it looks greasy. Like it looks dirty. It's irritating. I do use uh, dry shampoo occasional. But um, yeah, I'm going to put a curl through it. I'm going to use my, um, what's this, Remington Pearl Wand. I've had this forever. If you follow me forever, I've had it well over 10 years. I'm going to use that and kind of refresh my hair. Give me some curls and make me feel a little bit better. I'm also going to put some makeup on. Um, I have... I don't know why I'm breaking out on my neck at the minute. I don't know, no idea why. I don't know. So that's annoying. But anyway, I'm gonna uh, put some makeup on. I'm gonna put some lashes on. I'll show you. I'll show you ones that I've been using recently that I have been absolutely loving. All right, hair is done. Just giving it a little bit of a zhuzh. I don't like it when it looks a bit too separated. You know. I have put some makeup on um, and I've actually been using Lola's lashes recently um, so they I ordered some they had a 15% off and then I ordered some more because I had 20% off um, over the Easter season Easter period um, so these are basically pre-glued press-on lashes but they're kind of I'll show you you can see they're kind of in little clumps so you use like four or five for one eye. Um, they're all kind of pre-glued, but they're also kind of mapped. So you can do like a smaller and then bigger, you know, so they kind of, they work with the eye. So you're not just putting massive ones right in the center. They're kind of mapped. Um, yeah, so I've been really loving using them. Um, here's some other ones that I've got. They have subtle ones, they have, most of mine are like subtle. I know they don't look overly subtly like when you look at them, but they actually really, really are. I'm gonna use these ones, which are the pre-mapped ones. Um, and you work, is that the pre-mapped ones? Oh yeah, so it's size eight to 14. So you start, you can see you start here, inner to outer, and you can see the glue on them. And they're really easy to put on. You get like this little tool. You pick it up. Um, you want to try not to get it too high up. And you literally, what did I just pick up then? A bigger one. So I'll start on the outer. And you literally pop it underneath. And it kind of attaches to your lash. I didn't, I didn't really do that very well. You can pop them off if you need to. But they are basically kind of reusable if you wanted to take them off every day you could take them off every day you just have to be quite careful obviously not to spoil the glue but they are actually for leaving on to four to five days right so yeah that's the difference can you see um it literally took me about a minute to put them on it's such a weird thing because i mean i love i oh my god i used to have the individual ones put in years ago but honestly, sitting there for two hours is just something I just don't have time for anymore. So when I when I thought about trying these, I thought, you know what? I really struggle with like putting glue on on like fake ones and putting them on top. I I really I really struggled doing that. And this honestly is just so easy. And that's what it looks like underneath. If you're wondering, it doesn't actually. I don't know. It just doesn't. It kind of looks like one strip. But obviously, they are kind of little individual. But yeah. And I can sleep in them, I can wash my hair in them, I can probably go to the pool in them. You've got to be careful, like like having fake lashes put on. Don't rub your eyes, you can't over like do much with your eyes, but yeah. Lola's lashes. Right, we're all packed up, over packed up. We've got the kitchen sink and all that. <laughs> and I miss my boys, yeah. but we are excited. Violet's decided to sit in the back. Because probably they're going to watch a movie. You're going to watch a movie. Um, should take, it says like an hour and 15 minutes, but you, you know what traffic's like. You know what this time of year's like. You know, Easter holidays and everything. There's roadworks everywhere, so it's probably taking maybe a little bit longer. <gasps> also, I do want to go to the supermarket and get some bits. We might do that on the way. Like we've arrived. Oh. So we ended up getting here a bit early, but we I actually went to. I just had a way. Good boy. We went to Aldi first because we thought we might as well just do the, like, the food shop. So we got here a little bit early, and they'd only just got 
to clean our caravan. So I was like, oh no. So they're like, you're gonna have to come back, obviously it's not ready. So we've been in the arcades for probably about 40 minutes, which is fine. Um, but it's ready and I thought I would quickly show you. So this is, this is really nice. For like saver, apparently it's their saver budget. It was literally, it was under 200 pounds for three nights. I think it was 195. Honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is a two bedroom. It's quite, it feels quite, it feels quite new. So um, yeah, it kind of feels like it's got quite a fresh new vibe to it. It doesn't feel like, I expected to, it to be, feel quite dated, but um, yeah, this is super cute. It's the kitchen, which again, yeah, we've been in, it's weird because we've definitely been in more expensive caravans before and it's been a lot more dated than this. And this is, this feels very fresh. I can't believe we've got a dishwasher. Honestly, I n didn't know we had a dishwasher, so I'm a bit annoyed because I haven't got any dishwasher tablets and I don't know if they've left any, but yeah, we've literally just walked in. Stuff is there. Fridge is over here with the front door. And then it's a two bedroom, so um, yeah. So that's a shower. Look at the bird poo on the window. We're, we're in sea, sea view, so it is. Oh, this is cute, isn't it, Violet? Do you like it? Pleasantly surprised. They definitely had a little bit of a refresh, I think. And this is this is mine and Miles's bedroom. Very nice, quite spacious actually. Got like a little. Wow, I'm surprised we've got a TV. So it's got a little vanity. Um, what's this? I've got a toilet as well. No. Wow, it's a little things, isn't it? I do love a an ensuite. So yeah, this is our. This is so cute. This is our saver caravan, which I think is adorable. Smells very clean in here as well, doesn't it? it smells very clean, Miles. Mm. Yeah, Are you yeah. hungry? Oh my God, they even look like a mini fire. How adorable. There's right. enough on Miles. He wants a tea. little coffee table with stools. Oh. And obviously a table. Microwave. That's going to be your den, is it? Yeah. I'm wondering if I can find a drawer. I'm just going to give you a little Aldi haul. So I spent £43. I just got some basic bits, like I said. I have got some bits that I brought with us. I chose these crisps. I've got some toilet wipes, some foil, some tea bags. I did actually want the decaf, but they didn't have any sort of tea bags. I've got two lots of chicken, flame grilled, and then this is some Mexican style, I don't know what that is, but I thought I'd try it. Some ham, just for like sandwiches and lunchy stuff. I've got some grapes, some strawberries, I've got some salad. I'm going to have this tonight. I was going to do like Papa John's or something, but the kids, they're a bit fussy with pizzas. Like they don't, Violet will not eat Domino's pizza, so I'm guessing it's probably on par with that. So they chose a mini pizza each. I'm going to do, they can have a little side salad and alphabet bites. I'll show you those in a minute. Jack potatoes again for lunch probably tomorrow or Sunday with I've got a can of baked beans with us side salad for lunch I've got some Oreo type biscuits and then some cookies that I'm fine chose this like a Biscoff protein oats I had to try this it's one of the instant ones for breakfast and then over here got the lemon zero sugar me and Violet both like that Miles chose these orange and pineapple and I also got him this squishy thing I thought Green white, even like that, maybe. Um, I got these as well cinnamon fiber ones, some alphabet bites for dinner tonight, apple juice, Violet likes that, some milk, choco balls. Again, they can both have that for cereal. I also have waffles with us, we can have toast. Um, I've got hot chocolate, so I thought I'd get some squirty cream, some butter, and some jam. Two yogurts, protein yogurts. This one's the one with granola, and then this one's just the peach one that I like and passion fruit. Miles chose chocolate mousses, and then we've got a loaf of bread. There we go, kiddos' dinner. All right, it's my dinner. I've got sweet and sour chicken with rice, a ping meal. That's quite nice, actually. Um, um, we can see it a little bit. Um, can you just starting it up for us? Yeah, we can see it tomorrow. So we basically went out a bit late. 
we kind of got out about 10 to 7 and all the characters had gone so i think it starts because it starts from six i just assumed it would just be on um mm -hmm. but we missed we missed the characters and the you know the kiddies fun bit sort of early evening because obviously we're having dinner we got in late anyway but um i had a glass of wine the kids had like slushies it's quite expensive though and then miles insisted he needed this sword so um <laughs> Them. But them. it's something we can take home. It's, it's, you know, it's something you can reuse and love. In my pyjamas. <laughs> Get your own pyjamas. <laughs> anyway, we're signing off. I'm tired. It's bedtime. What's the time? 8 o'clock. No nights. Now I'm going to get munched to bed first. Mm -hmm.